Good morning. My name is Chris. I am the Systems Connectivity Manager here at Boston Document Systems. And today I am doing a video tutorial of how to set up Scan to Folder on a Mac. So, first what we want to do is we want to open up our Finder. And we want to find our main location, which is the hard drive of the copier. Or, I'm sorry, of the computer. If you do not see this in here under locations, come up to your top to finder, go to settings, and then do a check mark right beside the location for your main computer. That'll put the icon into your um, taskbar here on the left side. So now that we're in there, we want to go into the Macintosh HD. You want to go into the Users folder, and you want to find the user that you're creating the scan for. Here, you want to create a brand new folder and give it a name that you would want to use. I'm just going to call mine Scans. Now that the folder is created, now we got to share it out. So first, we go up to our Apple here and go to System Preferences. Now, depending on the version of Mac OS that you have, your system may look different here. This is the latest version of Mac OS. Some systems, it's actually very blocky looking, like there's rows left to right with a bunch of icons, but the steps are more or less the same. You're just going to find the same wording inside whichever system you have. So here I am going to go to sharing. I am going to hit the I beside sharing. And I am actually going to add a folder. Or actually I'm going to add the folder that I just created. So what we got to do is hit the plus sign. And you're going to browse to that same folder that you just created. So again, locations, Macintosh HD users <clears throat> the user itself scans and then i'm going to do open when you highlight this make sure that your particular account has read write access which it should by default <clears throat> down here where it says options if you click on this options make sure that the share files over smb is turned on or else the scans will not work. All the newer versions of Mac OS no longer support the older Macintosh AFP file sharing. It's all now SMB. You also want to do a checkbox beside your name. And you're going to put in the password for your account. This is the password that you use to log into your computer. All right, so once we're done there, <coughs> done there, that folder is now shared. <coughs> now, what you can do, too, to make life easier on yourself, if you go into the Finder again, <coughs> we can actually go into the Users, find the Scans folder, and I'm just going to drag this right over here. And that basically puts a shortcut for that scans folder right there so I don't have to go hunting for it when I do my scans. The setup on the computer and having it all shared out. Now it's time to set up that destination on the copier so it knows where to scan. So on your web browser, you want to go to the IP address of your HP device and you want to sign in as the administrator. By default, your username is administrator, and the password, if it hasn't been changed, is either blank or password, all lowercase letters. <clears throat> so now that we're in here as the administrator, at the top, we want to go to Scan Digital Send. On the left side here, we want to click on Contacts. Now scroll down to the bottom, and we want to click on Add Contact. 
For a display name, this could be anything you want. I'm just going to call mine scan to folder. The rest of these fields could be left blank unless you want to put other information in there. The network folder drop down, you want to click on standard shared folder. Now here is where your UNC path and all your information. This is the information that shows where your scans are going to be going to from the copier. So, here, <coughs> the, on a, for the Macintosh, the, you need what they call a full um, UNC path. So to find that path, if you just go into your Mac and go find your scan folder, just open up the folder. If you do not have this bar down here at the bottom at the top go to view and then go to show path bar and this bar here will show up this shows you the <clears throat> the unc path so this is the path of the actual scans but you also have to make sure that on this unc path that you also put in the ip or the computer name before the macintosh hd that way the copy knows exactly where the scans are going. With that filled in, now you want to put in your username and password that you would use to log in on the computer itself. And then click on verify access. <clears throat> it's going to try to verify and as long as you get a green box, you are good, like here. That is how you create a address on the copier for a Mac on an HP MFP.